If you have an issue in Cakewalk where for some reason you still get in one side, uh, I received this comment a few times. So let me show you exactly what's going on. All right. First of all, when you create a new project, all right, when I press control T and I create an audio track. Now, in some cases, depending on your audio interface, if you use an interface, your interface may already be set up. Uh, right now, my says none. So I have no input set up right now. And this is very important. You want to make sure your input is set on the correct thing. Now, fortunately for this Zoom, I can put it on Master L or Master R. I can put it on Master L and it'll work. I'll get a signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if I put it on Master R, then I still get a signal. So this works either or, and that's because it's using USB interface to do it. I can put it on Master L and R and it's gonna give me stereo. But I'm talking specifically for input. You wanna put it on whatever the input is. Now, master left and right would be great to record if I wanted to record like everything that's coming out of my mixer on one track. Like say for instance, I had, you know, I don't know, maybe I was recording drums and I wanna record drums. Instead of recording them separately, I just wanna record, or I'm recording a rehearsal for, you know, my band and I just want everything to go to a stereo track. Then that would be perfect for that. But in this case, since I want the direct signal, direct source, I want to make sure it's set on input one. And the reason why is because I have my XLR cable plugged into channel one on my mixer, right? So when I have it there, I'm getting a signal again. So when I record something, yeah, you know, I'm recording something, it's getting a signal that's exactly where I need it to be. With my Behringer mixer or with my focus right, then it's more specific. I really have to put it on either on left or right or on my Behringer, I have to put it on whatever channel it's plugged into as well because otherwise you might not get a signal on both sides. If you're noticing that you are only getting a signal, like say this is a stereo track, and let's say for some reason, let's set it back to stereo input. All right, let's say for instance, input one and two, all right? This would be the example that I'm talking about. If you have a set on the stereo left and right for your interface, and most interfaces normally have channel one left, channel uh, channel two is right, if you have like a two input interface. But if you have a set on channel one and two like this, you're only gonna get one side, and this is what I mean by one side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and you can notice that there is no signal on this right side. And the reason why is because I don't have anything plugged into that side. So if you don't have anything plugged into that side, why have it set on that side? That's why I so say you wanna have it set specifically on whatever input you're plugged into. Now, if you've already recorded already, and you like, dang, man, I realized I just recorded this, and now I can't, it's, it's messed up, it's only on one side, it's okay, because fear not, I mean, it might not be the best sound, but you can convert this to mono. All you have to do is right click on the file and then go down to convert to mono, which is right down here. And then it's gonna be yeah, yeah, mono. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, should yeah, hear yeah, it on both yeah, sides yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right, so if you need any more tips like this, definitely subscribe to the channel. You all, I'm working on something very important. I'm working on a getting started YouTube shorts playlist. All right, I got about 15 videos and I've already pre-recorded them. I'm just going through editing them, making sure they're fine tuned. Um, I think I'm gonna release it both ways. We're gonna release it as short, uh, long form videos, basically 16 by nine videos, but I'm also gonna re release it as shorts, um, YouTube shorts, and probably put on TikTok and some of the other devices or whatever, other social media platforms. And I'm hoping that it's gonna be helpful to you all uh, as well. If you have any questions, definitely email me uh, you can check the my info, whatever, link below. And uh, yeah, click on the links below, you know, for different goodies that may be there. Or it may be affiliate links that will help me earn more income. So that way I can grow this channel and eventually start giving money away. Because that's really what I want to get to is giving money away. All right, you all. Love you. Peace.